In this screencast, I will be analysing the importance of character balance in multiplayer games such as League of Legends, Overwatch and Street Fighter V. First, to understand balancing, we must know what it is. Balancing a game means to create a state where players have a chance to win no matter what options or characters they pick. Riot Games say it best by saying their primary goal is to empower players to succeed with any champion. In David Sailing's article about balance, he states that There are many different types of balancing in games. I will focus on two, viable options and fairness. Viable options is when the player is given many options mid-game to choose from, such as being able to pick different weapons in a shooter game or in League of Legends case, buying items. The point of viable options is to constantly change the state of the game so the player needs to adapt to the new situation. The items in League give the player different stats and unique abilities, which can change the situation of the game. For example, the item Sunfire Cape will give a player extra defense, making them more tanky, whilst also giving the player a passive damage to all those around them. The use of items can influence the player's play style, and also what items they will go with. If a player has a lot of damage, it may make the opponents build more defense to stop the damage. Overwatch uses viable options also, as you are able to switch characters mid-game, meaning people will switch characters constantly to deal with the new situations. The other important part to balancing is the fairness. This is when all characters are balanced to be fair, so no character is too strong that they can't lose, and so that no character is too weak that they can't win. However, to balance characters in such a way is very difficult. League of Legends is a good example, as it uses the what the developers called counterplay. This is when a character is given a specific weakness that the enemy can use to their advantage in order to beat the character. For example, Shivana. She has very high mobility, and once near an enemy, she has, they have difficulty escaping her. However, she has trouble getting towards the enemy in the first place, meaning ranged characters beat her well as they can use their range to keep away from her. Street Fighter V is not a very balanced game in terms of fairness. This is because the characters are designed very differently from one another, making it very hard to balance them to be fair, whilst also making them unique. This is why the developers add viable options to the game in order to balance the characters out. The options given to you during the fight are the block, attack, or grab. Get this right and the player will take control of the fight and gain pressure over the other player. This adds a rock paper scissors like aspect to the game. This can change the situation of the game and swing it in one player's favour. However, some characters have moves that can break this system, adding more depth to it, such as fireballs. These moves are projectiles characters can throw that give them an opening if, enemies, if the enemy is hit. However, it leaves them wide open whilst throwing the projectile. Knowing your opponent's options before going into a game is an important part of, of a game like Street Fighter. The game is very much balanced around the player's skill and knowledge of a matchup, which can make it very difficult for newcomers. Perkin Tournament also uses this rock, paper, scissors idea, but makes it even more obvious as it is a main mechanic in the game. As players will glow a, a colour to show what type of attack they have used. This points out to the player how they would beat them, which they can then learn from and can approach the situation from a different angle. In multiplayer games with a wide cast of characters, players usually create what is called a tier list. This is how players rank the characters in terms of how well they can perform in comparison to each other. Tier lists usually consist, consist of five tiers. Most are constructed like this. God tier or S tier, meaning that the character is always a good pick and can't lose due to their strength. No character should ever be in this tier, as that would class them as a broken character. Top tier or A tier, this character is strong, however still beatable if played against correctly. Mid tier slash B tier, character is good, but not as good as the top tier characters. They're still valuable however. Low tier or C tier, 
these characters are slightly weaker than the rest, but are still good if mastered correctly. And the useless slash D tier. These characters should never be played due to their weakness and having no chance of winning. If a character is in this tier, they are in need of a buff. Tier lists are a good way for developers to see what players think of the characters in the game, so they can take a deeper look themselves and if needed fix the characters accordingly, such as buffing or nerfing a character, or if necessary, reworking a character completely. But just because a character is stronger than another does not mean that they are broken. It's okay for characters to be stronger or weaker than other ones, as it just adds more layers to the game. In conclusion, viable options and fairness are two very important parts of balancing games. Having viable options can change the game situation, making players stay on their toes and be aware of what's happening. Fairness is important as having a wide cast of characters is good as the player has more choice, but making sure that the characters are all good and have a good chance of winning is more important. Implementing the two types of balance together helps keep the game and the characters fair. Thanks for watching.